The fertile valley of the Krishna River was the cradle of civilization in the eastern Deccan. This area became one of the greatest centers of Buddhism, and over 140 early Buddhist sites have been listed in this region. Indeed, this river valley is a vast land of stupas and Buddhist caves. The caves at Guntupalli are among the earliest of all Buddhist caves. An early cave at Guntupalli has a facade which is directly reminiscent of the Lomas Rishi caves at Barabar. Those were made in the 3rd century BC by Emperor Ashoka and his grandson Dashratha for the Ajivika sect of ascetics. Jagayapeta, on a tributary of the Krishna River, had many stupas. Buddhism flourished here for 500 years up to the 4th century AD. Worship at some of the stupas continued till the 14th century. The caves and stupas of this valley reflect developments in Buddhism and its art over several hundreds of years. We also see the representation of the happy coexistence of different schools of thought in both the Theravada and Mahayana traditions. The sites of Gumma Diduru, Ghantashala, Goli, Bhatti Prolu, Gudivada, Ramatirtham and Sali Hundam are among the numerous that reflect the rich Buddhist history of present-day Andhra Pradesh. At sites like Panigiri, 110 kilometers eastwards of Hyderabad, sculptures are still being found from under the ground. The Krishna Valley must have been an enchanted place, with hundreds of stupas and with numberless sculpted images made with the hands of devotion. The Buddhist site of Amaravati is on the bank of the river Krishna, next to the ancient capital of Dhara Nikota. The history of the stupas at this site covers at least 1,400 years from the time of Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BC. While the glorious Mahastupa at Amravati was made and sculpted in different stages from the 1st century BC till the 3rd century AD, many other stupas were made in the Krishna River Valley. Their railings and drum slabs are a vast surviving corpus of the early art of Buddhism. In the 3rd century AD, the power of the Satvahanas began to fade. However, the tradition of art which had blossomed under them continued. The Ikshvakus came to power in the second quarter of the 3rd century and established a new capital called Vijayapura or the city of victory in the Nagarjuna Kunda Valley. The great Buddhist teacher Nagarjuna one of the most important proponents of Mahayana philosophy was known to have lived here in the 1st or 2nd century AD. Nagarjuna Konda means the hill of Nagarjuna. The area continued as a most important center for the development of Buddhist philosophy under the Ikshvakus. A large number of monastic establishments were founded here for the residence, study and worship of at least four different sects of Buddhists. Unlike Amravati, the remains at Nagarjuna Konda have been systematically excavated and securely dated through inscriptions to the 3rd and 4th centuries. The original site was submerged by the making of a dam in recent years. 
However, the edifices were carefully reconstructed and preserved for the future.